Thanks for tuning in to the, you know it, the Muscle Russell. Today I'm at the old Remington's Munitions Factory in Bridgeport, Connecticut. And this place opened up in 1806, and back in 1940, it was one of the biggest manufacturers of bullets. And um, we're gonna go to the Shot Tower, that's the main attraction of this place, and that's where they actually made the bullets for them old time guns back in World War II. This place has been closed down for many, many years, and uh, as you can see behind me, it's in total shambles. We're gonna check this place out and explore and hopefully find some pretty cool things. Look at this. There's a, a stairway here, but there's no steps left. <laughs> but this room's a pretty good sized room here. The floor is just totally drenched. But a lot of graffiti on the walls like normal. A lot of gang graffiti. It looks like this might have been a, a foreman's office in here back in the days. Oh, yeah. oh look at that. There's so much water in here, I'm surprised there's no tadpoles swimming around. <laughs> now this is pretty wild. Look at this room. Wow, look at the ceilings here. Look at that. This room is total in rubble. A lot of bricks falling down. You know, this room is definitely falling apart. As you could definitely see, this place has been abandoned for a very, very long time. And rumor has it is there was a bunch of fires back here in the day. And it was notorious for fires. So, so there's tons of water damage too. Yeah, since it's opened up to the elements. Look, an old, an old chair right here, look at it. A desk. Let's see if we can get into these little rooms here. We're all falling through the floor. Look at this. I'm surprised no one's come here and scrapped a metal in here. Uh, a table. Huh, well. We finally made it to the shot tower. You know, this is pretty cool. We found a way in. So we're gonna climb to the top, and believe it or not, it's the highest point in Bridgeport. So it's gonna be a pretty cool view up there. So check it out. We're gonna go way up to the top. Well, here we go. We're gonna start our ascend. You know, too bad we couldn't go this way. It's an old school elevator. But as you can see, it's out of service. So, instead, we're gonna get our cardio and we're gonna go up this way. Wow, look at this. Big uh, piece of metal, it probably weighs a couple tons. Here's another machine. It's even on an old track. It was on an old track, it's that heavy. But, here's this. we're going up to the third level now. Well, we're on the third level here. And uh, I notice every level we come across is a different type of machine. And uh, look at this machine, huh? Has a bunch of rollers in it. I guess uh, molten metal went through these to make bullets. And maybe the metal fell out of these holes that I see on here. There's a bunch of holes and I think the bullets actually fell down here and went down into them holes and then dried and that's how they made the bullets for the guns amazing but this place went abandoned because people wanted new ideas new renovation guns were getting different this type of ammunition they basically went out of date but it did the trick back in world war ii tell you that but let's go up to the fourth level here we had to take the stairs but here's where the elevator stops and I would not want to walk out on that because we're a couple stories up and I definitely wouldn't want it to fall. Now that's a far drop down there. Look at that. The hole to nowhere. Right? Now we're going up to the fifth floor. This, these stairs seem like they go forever. Wow, look at this.
Oh, we're getting closer to the top. I actually lost count of what floor I was on. Heads up, there's a hole in the floor right here. Wow, we got some pretty cool views of Bridgeport. Look at this. Well, here is another bird's eye view of Bridgeport. That's part of, of the Remington's munitions factory over there as well. It was on 17 acres of land. Well, here I am at the corner of the building. And uh, as you can see, you can see the street from here. And I am almost at the top. Couple more, couple more steps and I'll be up there. Wow, oh, it's pretty windy up here. A lot of water too. Wow, look at the view here. Oh, there's the ocean. Oh man. Whew! Made it to the top. Ugh. Here we are, at the top of the tower. Look at this. Oh, wow. Well, here we are, made it to the top of the tower. I noticed there's a couple antennas up here. Maybe some 4 or 5G microwave radiation things that we're going to be using in the future. And, uh, roof don't look too safe, a couple holes in it, so I got to be careful up here, but it's pretty cool. Oh, I hear a car beeping, hope he ain't beeping at me. I'll tell you, it's definitely mighty wind up here. My cheeks are definitely turning red. And, uh, this is what it's all about, exploring new things like this. Well, here's the descend. Going back down to civilization. Remington's munitions factory is quite a place. And uh, we stumbled across part of the factory that caught on fire many years ago. And as you can see behind me, it's collapsed. And uh, I saw a way in down here, but I'm not that crazy. I'm not going down there. But in pretty cool the building behind us you know it looks pretty bad we're not gonna go inside that one but maybe another video but and then one other thing is behind us right here is that the tower we were in look at that I was all the way up to the top getting over my fear heights there here we are leaving the Remington munitions factory